Hey guys, uh, welcome back. So, it's been a while na rin from our last unboxing video. Very exciting yung i-unbox natin for today. So, without further ado, tara, simulan na natin. Ito yung bagong i-unbox natin is from Cherry Mobile. Ito yung pinaka-latest smartphone release nila this 2021, Cherry Mobile Aqua S10 Pro. So ito guys yung successor ng Aqua S9 series from 2020. So malamang ito na ulit yung simula ng mga lineup nila this year for Aqua S10 series. So abangan natin lahat yan guys. So bago natin i-unbox, check natin yung initial specs. Yung full specs nakapost sa description below. It's running on Android 11, Helio G90 at 2.0 GHz Octa Core CPU, 6.67 inch Full HD Plus, IPS TrueView LCD, 20 to 9 punch hole display para dun sa front camera placement niya, quad camera with 48 MP main camera plus 5 MP 120 degree wide angle plus 2 MP depth and plus 2 MP macro, 16 MP front camera. 128 gig ROM plus 6 gig RAM, micro SD card support, dual bolt PE ready, USB Type C with 30 watts fast charging support, and 5,000 battery capacity. Okay, so let's do the unboxing. Aqua S10 Pro. Tempered screen protector, protective case or jelly case, quick user manual, 30 watts fast charger, headset, Type-C USB cable, pin ejector. Next, check natin physically. So based on build quality, napaka solid dawakan, napaka premium ng datingan. Pagdating sa body color, it looks like a silver or dark gray finish. Ito yung Full HD 6.67 inch IPS with punch hole display, front camera, left side, power bottom and volume rocker, left side, SIM and micro SD card tray, top part, bottom part, 3.5 audio jack, USB type C port, and speaker. At the back, quad AI cameras with flash and fingerprint scanner. One last look. Next, check natin user interface. Aqua S10 Pro is running on Android 11 OS. By default, ganito yung desktop display niya. You can swipe up to access the pre-installed apps like Google Apps and Basic Utility Apps. You can change also desktop mode based on your desired preference. Just press and hold lang yung screen. Choose desktop launcher. Change the layout display by customizing icons, app name, and sizes. Click nyo lang in desktop mode. By default, you can swipe up the app drawer. Pero sa akin, mas preferred ko is yung home screen setup. Just swipe going left para lumabas yung mga apps. By the way, you can also change effects when swiping or browsing your screen display. Meron din siyang themes and some preloaded wallpapers. Swipe down, you can access yung shortcut settings. You can edit and change yung shortcut settings dito. Just click nyo lang yung pencil icon. You can uh, drag and drop yung mga apps na gusto nyo as shortcut. Under smartphone settings naman, syempre dito natin yung setup yung Wi-Fi connection, Bluetooth, hotspot, network settings. Meron din siyang preloaded Android Auto. So, very useful ito sa mga power owners na may Android head unit. Display can change from light to dark mode. Nandito rin yung desktop launcher settings. Sound settings. Apps and notification. Security settings like biometrics or fingerprint. Face ID and PIN codes. Smart touch. Battery indicator settings. Location. Accounts. System and about phone. Under About Phone, syempre dito natin makikita yung software build version and syempre yung Android version. For camera UI display naman, on upper display, you can access flash, HDR, theme colors, AI. Under Settings, you can adjust yung picture size quality. 
Siyempre, the higher quality, the more na malaki yung save file photo. Brand watermark, camera mute, touch shooting, self timer, grid line for me, recommended kaya na on. Soon, I'll be sharing tips how to shoot better photos using camera smartphone. Uh, abangan nyo yan. Meron din siyang uh, face beauty feature. By clicking more, other modes include here are night mode, pro mode, pwede ma-adjust manually yung white balance, ISO, EV, AE, and manual or autofocus. 108MP. So, usually ang use na ito is yung to take high resolution photo kung mahilig kang mag-crop. Downside lang, it will take more space sa storage. Portrait, can add and adjust bokeh or subject isolation sa photos mo. GIF, panorama, slow motion for video recording, time lapse, scanner, and macro shot. As for video recording naman, you can record up to 4K quality. Next, check natin benchmark performance, gaming, and camera test shots.
Okay, so natapos na natin yung unboxing and testing natin dito kay Aqua S10 Pro. Last year, Aqua S9 Max is one of Cherry Mobile's best all-around smartphone. Pero for 2021 naman, syempre, si Aqua S10 Pro. Na in terms of usability, performance, optimization, gaming, syempre, panalang panalo itong bagong smartphone ni Cherry Mobile. Sa mga tatanong ng presyo, SRP, 7,999 pesos. Kung may mga comments or question kayo kay Aqua SM Pro, just let me know. Post nyo lang sa comment section below. Sa mga hindi pa nakasubscribe sa channel natin, click nyo lang guys yung subscribe button and bell button. Para updated kayo sa mga latest unboxing and test videos natin. Okay? Thank you!